Today, in a rather dramatic change in direction, General Motors issued a press release indicating their long-standing multi-year relationship with EVgo in order to install EV charging stations in metropolitan areas was going to be taking a new form. They're going to be instead installing mega stations that have over 20 stalls in major metropolitan areas and also have canopies and many other amenities. Let's go ahead and get into the details. Here's the highlights. In the press release, they mentioned 400 stalls and on average 20 stalls per station. If you do the math on that, that's 20 of these mega stations throughout the United States. They also say they're going to be coast to coast. So assumingly at select large you know, NFL cities along some kind of travel corridor path or something, I'm not quite sure. And they haven't really released any kind of indication of where these locations will be. They will be installing these mega stations. They will have on average 20 stalls, but some will have significantly higher, assumedly uh, 40 stalls per station. And Evico typically taps out at about eight stalls per station. So these are very large stations. I think these will be the largest Evigo stations that are have been installed yet. There's also mention of the prefabricated units that Evigo developed last year were going to be used. And I'm not quite sure because when you look at those, they're on a sled with like three chargers together that are able to be assembled in a row. But those are really designed for pull-in stalls. And here it's mentioning pull-through access. So perhaps they've come up with a new design for their prefabricated units that are able to accommodate pull-through stalls. We'll have to see how that transpires. They're also going to have canopies and nearby amenities. There's multiple mentions of what those are going to look like in the press release, which I will link down below in the description. I recommend everyone go take a look. It's a very short read. The existing EVgo partnership is still ongoing, though. They've installed 1,000 as of August 2023. That's 1,000 stalls, not stations. And they say they're going to complete 2,000 by the end of 2024 with a goal of 2,850 by the end of 2025. So that's still ongoing. This is in addition to. And I just want to quickly go over some of the other builds that are currently going on because things are really exploding. Uh, before I do so, here's a quick quote from the president of EVgo, Dennis Kish. The future of EV charging is large stall count locations, high-powered charging, and designing around features that customers love, such as pull-through access, canopies, and convenient amenities. I totally agree. And the picture that was released in the uh, press release is this one here, but uh, this is nowhere near 20 stalls. So it would have to be about five times as large as what is pictured here in order to just get to the average. And some of these are going to be even bigger than that. So we're talking very large charging hubs that are going to be going in starting next year. The first one is supposed to open up next year. Okay, let's go ahead and get into some of the other builds that are going on because we seem to be in a battle of one-upsmanship currently. Walmart is said to be opening thousands of locations at Walmart and Sam Clubs between now and 2030, locations coast to coast. Two are currently open, 12 are going to be starting construction in the Dallas-Fort Worth area this year. Starbucks is installing with Mercedes-Benz high power charging network at about 100 stores. The first phase will be the I-5 corridor. They're going to be using Alfitronics, IANA, 30,000 stalls by 2030. Just to put that in perspective, that's larger than the existing footprint of the Tesla supercharger network. Just a ginormous installation currently coming on. Eight locations are said to be completed by the end of the year. The minimum stall count at an IANA station will be eight stalls. We'll also have canopies and amenities. We believe it to be Alfitronic, but we're still not 100% sure on that, but that's the speculation right now. Loves recently announced as a result of funding from the NEVI program that they'll be installing at 80 of their locations a quad stall uh, implementation using ChargePoint Express Plus hardware. Two locations are currently under construction in New York. Kentucky and Pennsylvania builds will start next year. Pilot Flying J has 64 open, 56 under construction. Their goal is 500, and they are in full swing. They are full send, trying to get as many of these installed as they possibly can. They are doing a terrific job, and these have gotten a lot of good press. I've charged at it myself, done many videos on them. Just really love this this program. Mayer is uh, partnering with EVgo, similarly to Pilot Flying J, to install charging at their locations. They have uh, six locations open. They do six stalls per location, 
and they haven't really announced which ones they're doing, but they're in the process of going through the construction of EVgo Extend locations on their properties. Circle K has really been at full bore for a while now. They've got 74 locations open. They don't really let us know where they're going. They do have a coming soon uh, map. It's combined with their existing open map. So you can see coming soon locations, but you don't have like a big uh, project-wide view of what's going to be coming in Circle K. But um, definitely they are doing a very heavy uh, EV infrastructure build throughout the properties that they operate. And then expansion of existing CPOs. If we glance over this list, every single one of these CPOs is in the process of expanding. Not a single one is decreasing or getting ready to shutter or anything. Each one of these is doing very aggressive expansions to varying degrees. Ready, I think, is really starting to rise to the top here. Tesla Supercharger is a famously relentless crew, and they are definitely on their game. Uh, and Electrify America has been quietly adding stations without much fanfare, but uh, opening them up throughout the uh, country. I think I heard that they're going to be expanding by 25% for, uh, from where they started at the beginning of the year. And all this is really being generated by the principles that were um, reported in a study released September 4th, just a few days ago. There was a study on the effects of electric vehicle charging stations with local businesses. And it's really not rocket science to expect that if you put an electric vehicle charger on your property, you're going to see an increase in business. I'll link this down below in the description as well. Uh, but basically what it boils down to is EV adoption increases and there's more reports of battery prices coming down. So as EV adoption increases, the economic benefit to putting in a DC fast charger on your property is increasing. And that's what the study uh, shows uh, with, with hard data. And so all these CPOs and project builds that are occurring are trying to do one-upmanship, trying to get a uh, product distinction for the retail establishments in order to draw EV customers and uh, get some more business. That's what all this is about. And if you're curious what a EV revolution looks like, just look around. <laughs> this is an EV revolution. Thanks for watching.